Hello. In the last video I showed how to install eGradle by the Eclipse Marketplace. eGradle is now installed with this version and this video is about setup and importing existing projects. Um, I checked out code to doc from GitHub. Um, here it is just another example. Um, it is a multi-project um, uh, for which uh, eGradle is originally designed for. Um, we got a grade wrapper here, as you do normally in a professional uh, software environment, and um, you got many multi projects. The multi projects already have no uh, Eclipse settings. I will show it. I, for example, uh, there are no uh, special Eclipse folders uh, or files or like uh, uh, the project or dot class pass and so on. So we got nothing here. Of course we can use the Gradle wrapper and do an uh, Eclipse so the Eclipse uh, settings will be generated. Uh, but another option is to do it with eGradle which does pretty the same. So in eGradle <coughs> we set up eGradle with the, um, the path to the root project. Uh, I already did it. Um, here are, we are, have the example, code to doc. Uh, uh, of course you can select another one. And the Java Home is an optional setting. Uh, when you do not want to use um, your installed JDK, you can uh, use an additional one and, um, and, and set it up here. Um, it, it will be the Java um, used by the um, Gradle project. And uh, here we got the Gradle call. You can set up a call type. Um, um, when you first start up eGradle, eGradle will automatically um, check which operating system you got and uh, will um, use the wrapper um, configuration for your operation system. In this case it was uh, Linux and uh, the default will always be a Gradle web. But uh, you could, uh, could also use, uh, when you got a Gradle installation uh, via apt-get installed, you can use uh, your system Gradle installation. But um, uh, normally um, most projects prefer the wrapper. Uh, be can, because you can check in the version settings and uh, everybody in your project, in your team, uh, has got the same Gradle setup. Yes. Um, the custom variant, um, so you can use some shells. Windows, uh, Linux, Mac, and um, the shells are supported automatically and the uh, Gradle calls are wrapped around. Um, you can use a custom Gradle call here, but I use uh, the standard Gradle repo from the root project. Um, to validate if your uh, settings um, done in eGradle are working fine, simply uh, press button and uh, OK, you can all correct and working. Uh, if you're uh, curious, you could look around and you will see, ah, okay, this is a Gradle version I use and some other uh, uh, information, uh, uh, Ruby and etc. So, all working fine, okay. So, this is the setup. And now we want to import it. Import the existing project. As we have uh, seen, there are no Eclipse settings. Okay. So now we press this button. You got the Gradle icon, an arrow, and the Eclipse icon. So refresh all Eclipse dependency of current root project. We've already set up the current root project, uh, being code doc, and um, this will refresh all Eclipse dependencies. We press the button. Uh, you see now the console is appearing uh, with the eGradle console showing uh, it does something. Uh, executing Gradle commands clean Eclipse in this folder. Yes? It's the same as if you would do it here. Yes? Console and uh, Eclipse integration are the same. So, okay. So, okay, as you can see, the build was successful. Yes, and uh, the, um, when you press this button, 
uh, normally all projects uh, in the workspace are automatically refreshed. Because we have no projects, there's nothing to refresh, but when we look at the terminal, as you can see, class pass, pro the project, uh, so the typical Eclipse files are automatically generated. So now let's import our awaiting uh, Eclipse projects. Existing projects from workspace. We use uh, code doc or there, finish. Okay. Workspace is building. Looks all fine. We have got our projects there. And as you can see, there's a little icon which shows us that we have got um, a Gradle integrated project here. Uh, sitting in our root project folder. Okay, what's still missing? Hmm. We have now uh, all projects, all sub projects, but what we are missing is the root project parts. As you can see, we got uh, something like Gradle properties, or we got libraries, Gradle, README, etc., etc., and uh, uh, maybe a build project. Ah, build Gradle here. And um, all these paths are still missing. Hmm. Okay, let's use another feature. After the create virtual root project, just a click. Okay, we got eGradle. Okay, and we got all parts which are not listed here as project automatically integrated in this virtual project. So you can do look around. Okay. And you have full access automatically. Um, the project, this project is a virtual project. Um, this means uh, the project paths are just uh, referenced. This is a, um, a reference to an existing folder. This git code, code doc Gradle. Virtual project itself contains nothing. It's just a link to the root project parts. So, when you uh, are changing something, GFSS, I do something change. As you can see, um, we got also the the, the, um, um, the information from the Git, uh, Git team provider that your build file has changed. All pretty good. Okay, now we have imported. An, um, multi project into your Eclipse workspace. And it's working fine. Thank you.